So this question is a simplified question. I know that because it is very short. It's only about a line and a half. The expression that's provided, which I always suggest that you rewrite for yourself, is 9a to the fourth plus 12a squared b squared plus 4b to the fourth. And the question wants us to determine um, which of these answer choices is equivalent to the expression that we started out with. There are a few ways to answer this question. One is to factor this trinomial, right? So factor this. And then what we'll get out if we do it the right way is one of the answer choices. So if you know how to do that, that's definitely a very fast way to get it. Um, another way is to expand the answer choices, expand answers which is basically the exact reverse of option one, right? So with option two, I start with the answer choices. I expand until I figure out which one of them gives me the original. The third option, which is much more, so the first two options were school-based things that you learn from your, from your algebra two, maybe even algebra one courses in school. The third way is definitely strategy-based, which is plug in your own number, P-I-Y-O-N, plug in your own number. So I'm going to use plug in your own number because I think that there are plenty of videos out there on how to factor trinomials, how to expand binomials, um, not so much on this method that I made up here called plugging in your own number. So let's get to it. So how do we do that? So I see that I have variables a and b in my question. So I'm going to plug in my own number. So I'm going to say that a is equal to 2, and I'm going to say that b is equal to 3, right? So literally made up my own numbers. You can make up any numbers that you want. I suggest that you stay away from negative 1, 0, and 1. Just the, uh, the, the characteristics of those numbers we don't want to get confused by. So I stay away from those numbers. I, I keep it small and just stay away from negative one, zero, and one. So how do we use this? Well, first of all, right, so step one is to plug into the actual question. So I'm gonna take this nine, a to the fourth instead of a, I'm gonna make it a two to the fourth, plus 12 instead of a squared, I'm gonna make it two squared. Instead of b squared, I'm gonna make it three squared, plus four, and then instead of b to the fourth, I'm gonna make it uh, three, to the fourth. So now I have to do some math here. Um, so hopefully this is okay. If not, again, option one and two are perfectly fine. So two to the fourth power is 16. I'm multiplying that by two. Nine times 16 is 144. Don't forget, you have, you have space on your test to write out um, to write out any math that you need to, to make sure you're getting this right. Definitely don't do it all by in your head. Uh, 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, and then we have a 12, right? So 12 times 4 times 9. So 12 times 4 is 48. And then if you go off to the side and figure out what 48 times 9 is, you will find that that is 432. And then lastly, I have 3 to the 4th power, which is 81, and then 81 times 4, which is, uh, let's see, 81 times 4 is 324. So I'm going to add 324. Then I add up all these numbers together um, off to the side again, and I end up with 900. So all of that work gets me to this 900 number. So then I go to my answer choices, and I plug in the exact same A and B. So let's try answer choice A. So with answer choice A, I'd have 3, and then instead of A squared, again, it becomes 2 squared plus 2 times, instead of B squared, it becomes 3 squared, and then lastly, I have an exponent 2 out here. So when I simplify the inside of my parentheses, again, I have 4 times 3, right, because 2 squared is 4. I have 9 times 2 because 3 squared is 9. So I'd have 12 plus 18 inside parentheses, still squared. 12 plus 18 is 30. 
So I have 30 inside parentheses, still squared, and 30 squared is 900. So what does that mean? That means that choice A is the correct answer because what I get by plugging in A equals 2 and B equals 3 into answer choice A matches what I got when I plug those same values into the original expression. If they did not match it, I would have crossed answer choice A out and moved on to choice B, right? So as you can see, it took some work here for the first step. Um, the answer choice is plugging those A and B's, A's and B's in, or plugging the A and the B into each of those choices does not take so much time to check it. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, please leave me a comment and I'll uh, make sure to either create another video for you or just re respond in the comment section to hopefully make sure that you understand it.